Namaste, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. I feel I want to share something really important today. So if you can, please try to stay with me until the end of this video. It's only going to take a few moments. There are so many people that talk about spiritual awakening, enlightenment. There are tons of teachings out there. And sometimes I feel there seems to be a disagreement about or perhaps rather an uncertainty as to whether awakening is a process that happens over time, that needs effort and practice, or rather that all these things are more of a distraction to what is already here and what we already are. That awakening is more like a recognition that needs no effort and no time, a simple shift of attention to what is real and what we are. I believe that both are true at the same time. And this is what the mind struggles with most, to accept that two things that seem to be opposites can be true at the same time. Although it is reflected in so many ways in this world, there are so many different religions and faiths and spiritualities and they all happen at the same time. Practice and devotion have their place. In fact, all of this life and this entire manifestation are a process towards or practice for awakening. We are all born with a desire to be happy. But this happiness cannot be found on the outside, in things or experiences or even relationships. They all come and go and after a while lose their attraction. And it has to be so, so that we start to inquire into the nature of who we really are and what we are really searching for, which is our natural state, the happiness that never ends, even beyond that, not as emotional state, but our very own nature. But as we can see in this world, for most of us, this knowledge seems to be veiled or covered up by ego and the illusion that we are separate and mortal. So we need the process of life, so to speak, to push us towards this recognition. And it is our own choice because the true self does not need any process. It is already complete. And this is why it is also true to say that enlightenment is not a process. But for some reason, we chose to manifest in this human form, chose to make it a process, so to speak, perhaps in order to rejoice in the recognition of the self that comes in the end. And all of this life is an anticipation to this great, great joy. There are also different stages to this process, depending on our capacities. If you would talk to your boss at work, for instance, about the true self, about how none of this is real, I'm not sure he would understand. But perhaps after a few meetings he would and then even help you along your way. We don't know anything about anyone. But generally speaking, for a lot of people, it is very hard to experience the oneness of all. 
and our eternal nature. So it needs time even to come to the place where, where we want to awaken. In this first stage, the knowledge about absolute freedom and our true self might be very new. And so we really need a teacher and more guidance. But when enlightenment becomes more intuitive, something that we recognize rather than learn, then the process can be much quicker. But can we say that one is right and the other is wrong? I think that would be absurd because ultimately it is all the same one. Ultimately there is only one consciousness. And as hard as it seems to be understood by the mind, everything is an expression of that consciousness, appears inside of it. So in a way, it is all one experience that happens in all these seemingly different bodies at the same time. So when you see someone who has no interest in spiritual awakening, it is also you. And when you see someone who has reached full enlightenment, it is also you. This is hard to understand with the mind, but we are not using words to create a mental construct, but as mere vessel towards direct experience. In this human body, we communicate with words, but what we are pointing to is far, far beyond that. It emanates out of every pore of our being. And the words simply create the space, the time, the opportunity to come together. And because a lot of us are so busy and already caught up with what we need to do next, let's be even more direct now and spend some time together with our true self beyond the words. A simple moment of silence in communion with our own divine presence. It doesn't matter whether your eyes are open or closed. Please do not switch off the video now. This is the highlight, the best part the time to spend with your own self beyond the breath, the beating of your heart, beyond the thoughts, the plans, even the human life. your peace, your silence. Your everlastingness. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and if you like, subscribe to my channel so we can share these beautiful moments together again. All my love to you.